The sun dipped low on the horizon as Martha, dressed in a vibrant red dress that swirled around her knees, sat cross-legged on the living room floor. Chrissy, her young nephew, eyed her with curiosity, his eyes wide with innocence. Do you want to play dress up? Martha grinned, a mischievous sparkle in her eyes. Come on, I won't tell anyone. You can put on a dress and pantyhose. I'll get my makeup out so I can put lipstick, blush, and eyeshadow on you. Nail polish too. This will be so fun. Chrissy hesitated for a moment, glancing at Martha's array of colorful accessories. A contagious excitement filled the room as he finally nodded, a small grin forming on his face. The promise of a secret adventure lured him into the playful world Martha was creating. As Martha gathered her makeup, the room echoed with laughter and whispered confidences. She carefully applied a touch of blush to Chrissy's cheeks, skillfully brushed on a hint of eyeshadow, and delicately adorned his lips with a playful shade of lipstick. There you go, Chrissy, she exclaimed, stepping back to admire her handiwork. You look fabulous. Now, let's complete the look with a twirl in that red dress. They danced around the room, their laughter mingling with the imaginary music playing in their minds. Martha, the architect of joy, cherished this moment of shared creativity and unabashed fun with her dear nephew. The vibrant red dress twirled with every step, symbolizing the colorful memories they were creating together. As the sun dipped lower, casting a warm glow through the window, Martha captured a mental image of Chrissy in his makeshift ensemble. It was more than just a game of dress up, it was a bond forged in laughter, acceptance, and the freedom to express oneself. As the evening unfolded, Aunt Martha guided me through the enchanting world of being a girl with effortless grace. The vibrant red dress, once a whimsical choice, became a symbol of newfound identity under her gentle encouragement. Aunt Martha, with a twinkle in her eye, treated me like a girl without making a fuss out of it. It wasn't about pretending, it was about exploring facets of myself I hadn't considered before. She shared the secret language of womanhood, teaching me the subtle nuances of sitting with poise, walking with elegance, and talking like a refined lady. With each word of advice, Aunt Martha's wisdom transformed the ordinary into something magical. She corrected my posture, offering guidance on the delicate art of crossing legs and the importance of maintaining composure. The living room transformed into a classroom of femininity, and every step I took echoed the grace she instilled in me. As we continued our girlish escapade, Aunt Martha patiently explained the power of a smile, the artistry of conversation, and the charm of modesty. She shared stories of her own experiences, seamlessly blending humor and wisdom into lessons that transcended the evening's playful facade. There was a subtle magic in the way Aunt Martha encouraged me to embrace my newfound identity. Her corrections weren't critiques, they were gentle nudges toward refinement. With every tip, I felt more like a real girl, navigating the world with newfound confidence. As the evening waltzed on, I discovered the beauty in being true to oneself, irrespective of societal norms. Aunt Martha's acceptance and guidance allowed me to blossom, transcending the boundaries of gender roles. In her eyes, I wasn't just Chrissy, I was a canvas awaiting the brushstrokes of authenticity. Each day after school became a delightful routine, as I eagerly made my way to Aunt Martha's haven of acceptance. The world outside might have been oblivious to our shared secret, but within the confines of Aunt Martha's home, a magical transformation awaited me. Aunt Martha, with her nurturing spirit, had devoted a room exclusively for our girlish adventures. The walls adorned with soft pastel hues, delicate lace curtains swaying in the breeze, and a bed draped in flowery patterns, it was a sanctuary where Christine could emerge and flourish. The closet, a treasure trove of femininity, held an array of dresses, skirts, and nightgowns, each awaiting its turn to contribute to the daily metamorphosis. Aunt Martha had a keen eye for fashion, selecting outfits that perfectly complemented my evolving sense of self. With her gentle guidance, I learned the subtle art of accessorizing, discovering the transformative power of a well-chosen necklace or a dainty hairpin. As I stepped into Aunt Martha's designated realm, the air buzzed with anticipation. The ritual of being adorned with grace and called Christine had become a cherished tradition. Aunt Martha, with unwavering love, treated each moment as an opportunity to nurture confidence and self-expression.
The lessons continued beyond the playful application of makeup and the rustle of skirts. Aunt Martha, like a mentor in the school of life, imparted wisdom on navigating the world with kindness and resilience. She encouraged me to embrace my femininity not as a disguise but as a facet of my authentic self. Our afternoons were filled with laughter, shared secrets, and the joy of discovering the beauty in being true to oneself. The room became a cocoon where I could unfurl my wings, free from judgment or societal expectations. Aunt Martha's acceptance enveloped me like a warm embrace, fostering a sense of belonging that transcended the confines of gender norms. With school behind me and employment opportunities scarce, the prospect of a permanent move to Aunt Martha's welcoming abode became an enticing reality. My parents, recognizing the rare joy that radiated from our shared haven, proposed the idea of making Aunt Martha's house my permanent residence. Embracing the opportunity, I became Christine full-time. Aunt Martha, the guardian of my blossoming identity, celebrated this decision with open arms. The room, once a retreat for our daily escapades, now transformed into a haven where Christine could flourish on a continuous journey of self-discovery. Days unfolded in a rhythm of feminine grace and shared creativity. Aunt Martha, a talented artist, invited me to be her muse not only in our private realm but also in the world outside. As she prepared for art exhibitions, I found myself draped in elegant dresses, each one chosen to accentuate the beauty of the moment. With confidence in my heart, I stepped into the role of explaining art to curious onlookers, my feminine charm adding a unique dimension to Aunt Martha's exhibitions. The gallery became a stage where Christine, adorned in sophisticated attire, narrated the stories behind each stroke of the brush, capturing the essence of artistic expression with grace and eloquence. Aunt Martha's guidance extended beyond the boundaries of fashion and art, as she mentored me on the subtle nuances of being a woman in the world. Together, we navigated the challenges, celebrated the victories, and cherished the quiet moments of camaraderie that filled our days. The decision to embrace Christine permanently not only marked a shift in my outward appearance but also became a testament to the enduring strength of our bond. In Aunt Martha's nurturing embrace, I found not just a place to be myself but a platform to showcase the beauty of authenticity to the world. As the years unfolded, the gallery lights continued to cast a glow on Christine's journey. With Aunt Martha by my side, I discovered that the true artistry of life lies in the authenticity of self-expression, and in her, I found a lifelong companion on this vibrant canvas of existence.